Marquise, when you found out that you were nominated for the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award, what did it mean to you? It meant a lot to me, actually, because uh, the significance that it brings. And it shows the whole NFL community and outside the NFL community how much you do in, in the community, how much you give back and what it really, truly means to you. So every guy that ever wins it, I, mean, I got a lot of respect for him. You, though, are very low-key about all the great <laughs> stuff you do back in your hometown in Florida and in Pittsburgh. Why are you kind of like that? Uh, it's just more of just, I think, the way we was raised, um, as far as giving back is, I think it's just something that you do internally and you shouldn't get all the praise for it. You know how I am about this. Coach Tomlin's making me do this interview. <laughs> but, <laughs> That's but, why I asked. Yeah, 100%. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I just feel like it's something that you shouldn't, you shouldn't get claps on the back or hand claps for. It's just something that you do from out the kindness of your heart. And um, internally, it just makes me feel good, and that's what I do all the time. Where does this come from, though? Did somebody show you the way about giving back? Was it a family member, a teammate? Where did this all kind of start with you, where you were like, I can do something to help other people? I think it was just the way we was raised, like I was saying. And, um, you know, we, we come from property, so we know what it's like to, to not have things and enjoy life, no matter if you have a lot of money or you have no money at all. And, um, that's how we was, we, were, we was raised. And we was poor, I never knew that we didn't have a lot of money. I just thought that's how the whole world lived. But um, I think that was instilled as, as kids with our parents and um, our grandparents and everyone that was around our inner circle. So that kind of helped out. As I said, you help back in Florida, also in Pittsburgh. So in Florida, what's something you do in the community that you're most proud of? <laughs> this is our, uh, our 10th year of doing our football camp there. So we do our um, national football camp every year. You know, we get a lot of guys to come back. We probably have around 1,200 to 1,500 kids. Um, we do a book bag drive the day of the camp, so they don't have to come back on different days. We just give it to them there. Uh, we've done haircuts before, free physicals. Um, we gave Lathan jerseys before. We gave him a $30,000 check last year. Um, the police were involved with the police there. We do anything, I mean, obviously anything they want and they ask what we do it. Um, yeah, it's called Powell there, Lakeland Powell in Lakeland. And, um, I just think overall, just it's so hard to just think about all the things I do because I don't like publicity for it. Right. I just think that, you know, the money and all that stuff that you give out is just something that you do out the kindness. But um, we do a lot of different things, man. Lakeland loves us to death. We love the kids there. That's our environment, man. Um, anytime we go back, it's just crazy to see after the 10-year process of giving all the shirts out and all the football camp shirts, that every time we go back, we at least see 15 kids just going around <laughs> Lakeland in our shirts. And we're like, man, you know what? That, that's the cool, significant part about it, man, that um, these kids really enjoy it and somebody's coming back and really thinking about them all the time and knowing that, that man, we was them same kids in the same positions. Mm -hmm. And if you have a dream, man, you can always fulfill that as long as you work hard, stay humbled, and you know, you, you find a way to get blessed. What about here in Pittsburgh? You do the turkey drive every year around Thanksgiving, but I think your involvement with the police department was something not a lot of people knew about yeah. um, until you received this nomination. <laughs> Can you tell us how you kind of got started with them and what you have been able to do? So the whole national anthem thing was the big thing and why the whole police thing got involved. And um, I was one of the guys that really jumped in, jumped in that with Mr. Rooney and the whole organization. And we wanted to push on bringing the city together and the community and the police together and things like that. And um, the last three years I've done that with them. They bring 25 kids, they get the tailgate party at the beginning of the game, they get to eat. Um, I've done the turkey drives eight years up here now, seven, eight years up here, and I've done it 10 years in Lakeland. Um, oh, I do other uh, uh, um, play ball for kids up here with Pastor Ed. I've been a uh, captain on that for the last nine years. Um, I, I, really, I, re I really appreciate what Pastor Ed does. He's in the north side up here. He actually lives in the community that he gives back to. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been here for a long time. They raised probably $4 million. Uh, their graduation rate of this, this program is 98%. Most kids either get a job or they go to go off to college and uh, start a career and things like that. So when you see people like that giving back in the, in the form of that and not just trying to collect money and live in nice houses, buy nice things for themselves, he actually lives in the hood in the ghetto with these, with these people, man. And uh, so whenever you see people like that, man, it just made me just want to help them out all the time. Well, I appreciate you opening up and telling us some of the awesome things you do and good luck. Thank you so much.